As a poet, I seek to explore with audiences how poetry, literature, music and pictures vividly tell the story of people, time and places. This is illustrated by my first presentation, which gives a first-hand account of the First World War provided by the soldier poets of the Western Front. Their poems tell the story of suffering and sacrifices of millions of people of all nationalities as they endured the horror of the war. Shortly, as the 100th anniversary of the Great War approaches, millions of people will be remembering the part played in this traumatic event by their own ancestors. I will use the poetry of the war to share with the audience the experience, thoughts, hopes and aspirations of many of those ancestors as they struggled to survive in the rain-sodden trenches of France and Belgium or the blistering heat of Gallipoli. The poetry I use takes audiences on an historic journey, embracing the culture of a country and era. For example, my presentation on the life and times of Scotland's national poet, Robert Burns, show his rise from humble beginnings as a son of a poor ploughman to become a celebrity of Edinburgh society, and ultimately his untimely poverty-stricken death. I show how Burns' poetry, enriched with images and music, still connects with people today. I portray how Burns helped develop pride in Scotland and introduced Scottish culture throughout the world. Such was his influence that even today, over 200 years after his death, the last song of each year sung by millions will be his, Old Lang Syne. Burns was an inspiration to many poets throughout the world, including the greatest Russian poet, Alexander Pushkin. I use Pushkin's life and work to take an audience through St. Petersburg and Russia as it was in the early 19th century. Like Burns, Pushkin was committed to social reform, which often wrought on him the unwanted attention of the authorities. I talk about how he overcame this and was accepted into the court of the Tsar. As Pushkin was a bit touchy about his reputation, he fought over 29 duels. However, the 30th one, which is part of my presentation, brought about his sudden and abrupt end as he fought a duel in defence of his wife's honour. Being a poet, I often plumb the depths of history and culture for material. This leads me into a variety of subjects. For example, I particularly enjoy the colourful culture, art and history of Russia. Several audiences have been entertained by my presentation of Alexandra, Tsarina of Russia, and her dalliance with Rasputin, the Mad Monk, and its contribution to the downfall of the Romanov family and their ultimate assassination. I explore whether Rasputin was a faith healer, monk, or just an opportunist drunk, and how he held sway with the court of the Tsar. Audiences follow his life and brutal slaughter by royalists in an effort to prevent the revolution. I also enjoy examining the macabre aspects of life in 19th century Britain, such as the activities of the body snatchers. One of my presentations shows an audience how two famous body snatchers, Burke and Hare, worked steel corpses from cemeteries in Edinburgh before turning to the easier means of murder. I investigate with the audience whether they acted in the interest of science or their own greed until they themselves paid for their lives before the hangman. In this short clip today, I've portrayed some of my keynote presentations. As a poet and avid historian, I have many more PowerPoint talks which range from Victorian writers such as Charles Dickens and Oscar Wilde, figures from American literature including Ernest Hemingway and life in the Victorian slums. If you would like to know more about these, please contact me via the Cruise Lecturers Association.